everyone. Hi, okay. Hi. Welcome to Purple Noon. Thank you very much. So, Kate and I are going to do a very quick little whip round of this current exhibition, which is actually an online exhibition titled Timely Still Life Paintings by Antoinette Tyndall and Kate Nielsen. So, we're a little bit unprepared this time. Yes. We're just going to go around and talk about the paintings. We've already done this with Antoinette's paintings, uh -huh. her beautiful still lifes, very traditional paintings. Kate's, on the other hand, are full of energy, vibrant. The colour is amazing, as you could probably see. We've put this on the wall. It will all be online tonight. You can purchase pieces online. You can ring me for more photos. You can ask any questions you like about these paintings. They are absolutely exceptional. The most beautiful still life paintings, Kate. Oh, thank, thank you. you very much. And thank you for coming today to talk about them. Oh, my pleasure. So exhibition runs until the 12th of December. And we might start with this one here, which Great. is entitled Azaleas, is it? Yes, yes. So any little history about this one or anything? Well, I was running a little art day um, for some people and my Azaleas were on they were just oh, amazing so I that's where this one came from I did a whole little series of some azaleas and you know what's really interesting about this one and I've said it all along I love the way it's offset yes it's, it's quite deliberate isn't it oh, Deliberately most definitely. Offset, and yes. I think that's it's so appealing it looks fabulous on the brick wall is I'm, this something you're going to start doing yes. more of? Okay. I'm very interested at the moment in creating compositions that are bordering on being a little bit awkward but still work. I yeah. think that makes it a much mm. more dynamic and exciting mm. artwork. And I'm also, even though I still love my interior and exterior paintings, and I will always do them, I'm really enjoying the dark background. Maybe if you get in really close to this one, George, and get some of the, the apples, the Thick, the paint is gorgeous and this one here, that apple would look gorgeous on its own. Well, it's and I'm also really enjoying the patterns against that kind of, that the contrast with the pattern yeah, against those right. objects. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Well, let's move shadow. along, oh, sorry. Let yeah, right. Let's <laughs> move along to this one, which I think has to be my favourite in the whole exhibition. So yes. if you want to stand next to it to show everyone exactly how big it is, because it is quite a large painting. It's a metre by metre, it is a big, it, bigger one. Oh. Um, and again, azaleas and waratahs. I've got a thing about waratahs oh, at the moment. I've got a waratah real. crush. They're just gorgeous. Um, again, this is obviously my interior exterior, but the dark background's coming in again and the patterns mm. within the dark. And I that's something that maybe it could, if you don't mind, George, having a closer view of the patterns, because we're actually looking into the light. But a lot of people probably, when they see this on a screen, don't realise that the within background. that dark yeah. background is patterning and yeah look it shows up so much more now um, I love it and I know I've said it before but I and I will keep saying it Matisse Nielsen honestly he was all about patterns patterns I and have, yeah. still life combining the two in a way that I can't think of another artist that is able to do it as successfully as you oh, can. Oh, that's extremely flattering. Well, Thank I just love it. I absolutely love it. I mean, look at the patterns in these, these two here. Now, these two are 60 by 60. Yep. And pattern against pattern against flowers, against more pattern. And that I'm, works. I'm doing also a, a bit of clashing colours too, which again is all about my thing at the moment, about pushing things right to the limit so they become really dynamic and really interesting mm -hmm. and something that you can keep looking at over yeah. time. And you were saying you've got new new paint, different colours, yes, different yes. palette. I'm loving it. Buy yeah. lots of these, Kate. Okay? Oh, <laughs> I just this red. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> this red is just I just love it. I can't get enough of it. It's just the most beautiful yeah. red. And um, yeah, and it's funny you should mention, mention Matisse because I just had delivered from America the most beautiful book about Matisse's. It's called A Room with a View. Oh. And it's exquisite, and I just can't get enough of it. I need to see that. It's you a very good book. Little 30 by 30. Yep. Next to a 76 by 76. And the only, I mean, the reason we do these walk arounds is not so that Kate and I can stare at the camera. Because <laughs> it's my favourite thing. <laughs> and I look pretty because we don't. Well, I don't. You look lovely. You've been out for brunch. Um, but it's about showing the perspective and
and getting an idea of size and when we stand next to them and talk about them, it's yeah. very easy to visualise whether that painting would look great in a particular well, spot. Where it's going to work. Yeah. 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 And so this little row of three, they would be about 40 by 40, would they? Yes, they're 40 by 40, yes, yep. Yeah. Um, again, I've just got an absolute crush on things oh, of glass. Yeah, and there's something about these stripes that I'm just know, absolutely loving. I know. I think it might be a nod to my Danish father, actually, because that red and white's just really working for me at the oh, moment. Right. <laughs> oh, he would love that. Oh, oh he, oh, would. he would. It's a gorgeous. And one. he's such a sweetie too. I love yeah. it when he comes out and delivers <laughs> things. It's just gorgeous. This one, again, another gorgeous. that beautiful red. This patterns. one particularly, I feel like my um, strong interest in Matisse comes through and something about the, I think it might be the pattern rug behind the table and that sort of slightly awkward offset composition that's making, you know, making my works at the moment. So Kate, quite often you mentioned that these paintings are of friends or families or your own home. Is this, this is a new lot of paintings which I um, haven't... I don't recognise. Are these in your mum's home or in this, your... Uh, there's a bit of it. This is my parents' house. Mm -hmm. um, but most of them are actually, when I'm looking around here, from my studio. I think I said last time oh, I'm lucky I have two wow. studios because um, I do and I'm lucky. And I have one mm. down the back. And so the shed one over, uh, looks out into trees and things. So oh, I go down there and I you know, make up my compositions and stuff. And then I bring them up to my top studio to finish them off. So... And these ones, I mean, they're still lives that I set up, set up on tables, mm. so um, they're sort of anywhere. They're, they're in my studio. Well, th these ones don't act necessarily fit into what I'm just about to say, but the other thing I really love, and I know that I get a lot of feedback from people, A, the feedback is they love seeing these walk-arounds and love seeing the paintings and you talking about your own paintings. But the other thing is your ability, again like Matisse, to bring the outside in and inside out. Yes. He used to do it with verandas and balconies. He was and you obviously the master at it. But and you I do it with the windows, the open it. windows, the gum trees outside or the fruit tree. I just they feel, yeah. They appeal to people. I yes. think it's, um, I just love that balance. It's mm. a really fine line. I, of course, I, I try lots of times and sometimes there's massive fails. But mm. I think what it does is it gives still like some room to breathe or something mm. I, there's something about the openness of looking out as well yeah. as having that still life and then the heavy patterns on top but for yeah. me i just and i guess after all these lockdowns too you know it's been really nice to sort of think of you know the outside or we've been locked yeah. into our houses for so long yeah and for me, for me and for anyone living out here where we are it's not really quite such an issue and of course you've got a lovely backyard and yes. as well but there's exactly. so many people that really didn't have that oh, space absolutely. and just had the apartment with you yeah. know out that window view or the access to the window but yes these and these have always been appealing in, in that regard so we're down to the last few so there are 14 paintings in this exhibition the same as Antoinette's you both had 14 paintings and these three here oh set against the black I think these might be my favorite not that oh I my sort gosh. Of don't it's have so favorites anymore but this I think the patterns on the patterns on the patterns here really work yeah, for me, and, and the patterns of the balcony. That's actually a friend of mine's house in um, um, Potts Point, I oh, think it is, <laughs> and the old fashioned railing and things. And I just yeah, and then the pattern of the palm trees in the background too. No, they are all. It, there's such a credit to your your skill and your ability to create these absolutely beautiful paintings. Um, I adore them. Everyone oh, does. Thank you. Let's hope that they all sell really quickly because it's <laughs> yes. getting up to Christmas. It's towards the end of the year. This is a timely <laughs> exhibition filling in for, for me really because, as I said before, I donate my gallery to the cause, to our not-for-profit art prize, and, um, all, and everything that we sell in the art prize is actually for our charity. So uh, jump over to the art prize account as well and, and have a look at the lovely work. But if you're wanting something for yourself on the wall, go no further. Here We've got are. Antoinette <laughs> Tyndall and Kate Nielsen, and it's just the most fabulous double act. So thank you for, for watching. And, um, thank you for having me again, Oh, Robert. my pleasure. Mm. We love having your work here, Kate. So <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Oh, my pleasure.